Hi everybody, today I'm tying a Mako special um, Bonefish fly It's just kind of simple little shrimpy thing Basically um, And I'm tying it on a size 6 But you could tie it in a 4 as well So I'm going to stick a Gamma Katsu S13S4H uh, Bonefish hook Size 6 in the vise And then start my pink thread. Um, and run a bed of the thread the length of the shank. This is just Anvil's flat wax, but you can use whatever you like. Uh, and I'm going to Take a couple of strands of silver and a couple of strands of pink crystal flash no even the length but it doesn't really matter we're going to fold them over each other and just tie them tie them in the length of the the length of the hook so that they're folded over, can't pull out. I just sort of, you know, if you if you, th if you measure like a, a, a basically a hook shank, so maybe slightly more, and just I'll snip them like that, you know, and even the ends a wee bit. There you go. Uh, then the next part of the tail is just some. EP fibers, but you could use um, Antron or, or uh, Crafter if you want it. And then I'll just say so again, I'm just going to double these over so I've got a nice wee bunch that's tied nice and securely. Taper into them. A bit better than that, actually. That's, that's a bit. Uh... Yeah, that's that's a wee bit nicer. Just make sure it's sitting the way you like it. And then I'm going to tie in my weight, which in this case is. Um, Silver bead chain, large, oh, right. just take turns, you know, between the under the shank and over the eyes, and between the eyes and the shank. To tighten everything up, make sure everything's nice and snug and secure. You don't want it to move on you later when you're fishing. Right, and then I'll just come in with some super glue just to secure the eyes. And then I'll tie in my Hackle. So it's just a brown saddle hackle. It was actually a furnace with the black black centre there, but it's, you can use brown. And then I'm just going to dub some. I always keep the sort of under fluff from under fur for craft fur. When I'm you know tying wings, I just keep it in a wee bag, and I use it. It makes quite a nice dub, and it sinks. It sinks quite well because it's non-absorbent. Uh, it's denser than water, you know, it's non-buoyant, sorry. And just come up to right behind the eyes. That's fine. And don't worry about winding it over the wet um, super glue because it just helps to bind it. And then just palm of the hackle forward and really close turns, you know, almost touching. 
you just want to be able to see a little bit of the dubbing through it. It seems like a little bit you trim the hackle anyway, so when you get when you hit when you reach your eyes just tie it in. I like to figure it through the eyes. And no, fold the hackle back and tie back on top of it. Right. That's it, that's you can just snap it, it's not going anywhere. Just don't worry about the errant fibres at the moment. I'll pick them up in a minute. And then just come in and sort of trim trim the hackle fibres at a slight angle tapering towards the tail and then almost just straight on the underside so it'll help to encourage the fly to flip So it fishes the right way up. Let's try not to miss any. I mean, it probably wouldn't matter if you did. It. And watch you don't cut your thread like I just did. But no problem if you cut your thread. Just uh, just start it back and make sure you sort of cover up. Any exposed end of the, the thread there, so it's, it's nice and secure. I'll fold that back, catch it again. Not the end of the world. Trim that, a couple of fibres there, just come in and take them away. So, the flies sort of more or less done. I'm, I'm going to put a weed guard in this because um, there's no, you know, it doesn't really have any wing or anything. But, to help make it weedless, even though it does ride hook point up. Um, I'll just make a loop. Well, I'll build up the thread a wee bit more first. And then if you just make a loop of thread, a loop of nylon, sorry, it's just 20 pounds, well, fluorocarbon, 20 pound fluorocarbon, a loop over the hook, a couple of turns, and then a couple of turns the opposite way, and pull it tight, that'll give you a nice sort of vertical weed guard. You can then, oops, can then position the strands as you like, just run your thread between them a couple of times to sort of separate them, give you a nice wee V, and then I'll just finish this by hand, twice, thread and then just come in and somewhere we got and the last thing is just to get a oh, a nice liberal dousing with head cement Away a wee bit, a wee bit much, a wee bit excess. And that's it, that's the Mako special. Um, I hope you liked that. If you did or if you didn't, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks a lot, bye.